<laughs> we will rally here, right here, the east end of the National Mall, between 3rd Street and 7th Street, as you can see there's a Peter Parker, Bruce, Supergirl, Steve, Scott Summers, Robocop, Mr. Monopoly. Where's Waldo? He's right here at the DC rally for Restore Insanity and uh, and uh, Fear of the Pain. I forgot what it's called. And the March for Fear. There you go. So why are you here, sir? I'm here for the ride for Sanity. Is this thing on? This is Steven reporting from the rally to restore sanity and keep fear alive. I think this is the portion related to sanity. Hey, Superwoman, what are you going to do tonight? I'm going to continue to wear my costume and go out. Are you, you going to save the world, though? Absolutely. The world is safe. We got it. It's all in a day's work. I'm here today. I, I really wanted to show my support for the rally here and show that not everybody in the, in the country is insane, even though I am wearing a costume. Uh, I cannot believe I ran into unemployed man. Tell me all about the superhero. Uh, you, got, you, got, you got fans. Tell me about Unemployed Man. Uh, unemployed Man can send out a thousand resumes in the flash of an eye. Can also drain his retirement account in the same amount of time. Uh, he brings comic relief to people. If you can't have actual relief, at least you could have comic relief. Is that uncomfortable to wear? Not yes or no. <laughs> I just want to make sure that Americans keep their fear, their intrinsic fear alive. And were, were you successful today? Uh, I think I was because I'm the deputy that keeps fear alive. So I was able to corral people and keep people in line uh, with my gun uh, and my rather short shorts. Uh, that is fearful. I like the shorts right now. All right, nice, very nice. <laughs> We've all got the shorts right here. The shorts. <laughs> pretty nice outfit. Are those, are those Bugle Boy? What? I don't know where they, I don't know what they are. <laughs> I just bought them and I cut them up. How, how was the rally? It was good. It was good. I didn't make any of it. Okay, now I'm taking a guess that you were not here for sanity today. You're probably here to keep fear alive. Yeah, you could say that. And were, were you successful? I think so. I got some repulsion at the very least. What does Ben Franklin think about this event? I think Franklin supports... Excuse, can I start over again? Sure, absolutely. Because I talk in the first person and not the third. <laughs> okay. okay. So what's up with your gear? My gear. Yeah, I got them from the internet. So they make me bounce. They're a lot of fun. I can run fast, jump high, talk to chicks, you know. Do you know about John Stewart since you're kind of from a different era? I travel through time, my friend. Okay. And I do know John Stewart's um, work. So are you from the area? Are you, from, are you local? I'm wherever I need to be at any moment. Is this your Halloween outfit or are you just for the rally? Uh, this is uh, my general Halloween rally sanity outfit. That's very good. What's your name again? Mark Twain. I like Mark Twain. So the sexual harassment. And he's here. Uh, he represents people that, you know, they want to get in there, they want to hug and hold people, but maybe they go a little bit too far and, and cross the line. So uh, I'm going to, easy, like easy, take it easy, Panda. Yeah. Halloween's this weekend? I, oh, I didn't I, even I think know so. Yeah. I didn't even know. Very nice, very nice. Go figure. Now, do you have any more plans for the rest of the day or the rest of the year? Um, probably put some clothes on. <laughs> I'm sorry, and Zilch, your partner here is, uh, I'm assuming, Zero four. Well, he's got nothing, so he's got nothing to lose, which makes him a very formidable fighter, actually. All right, awesome. All right, and I asked, um, boxers or briefs to buy in the barrel? Uh, he's got nothing. Okay, awesome. He's got nothing. Are you guys here Are you for political reasons or comedy? Uh, political, I'd say. I'll go with a little bit of both. I'm here for political reasons. <laughs> and uh, I assume you're a vampire. Is, is that correct? Oh, yes. Yes. Good vampire, bad vampire, blood-sucking vampire, kind of true-blood vampire? Um, I just, you know, I like a good, you know, blood every now and then. I haven't eaten yet today, so you might want to watch out, but... Well, I'm Marie Antoinette. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. This is my executioner, and yep. this is our dear friend Glenn Beck. Yes. Alexis, you're looking pretty sexy today. You got you got the nice little bra going and the deep voice going. It's a nice mix. Is that your, your like, special touch? Mm, a little bit, yeah. yeah. What's the most important reason why you came today to the rally? Honestly, friends and getting to come up in the Lederhusen. Okay. Is this Mark Kubert, Stewart's side? We love them both. Uh, 
Um, I have them both in my hair. I gotta address the the wig here. Are you part of the wig party? I mean, what, what is what is the wig? What's, what's the deal? I don't know. I just heard about morning. this today. Yeah. You know, I, I, Saudi, so. you never know about these things when you grow up internationally. I'm sorry. Oh, you were in Saudi. I was in Saudi Arabia. Oh, and I would say, looking at you right now, sanity was really not your strong suit, probably. Robot Pirate Ninja supports Keep Fear Alive, because if people are afraid of each other, then they won't be afraid of Robot Pirate Ninja invasions. Ah, good ploy. Now, I gotta ask you though, uh, I've heard Juan Williams in the crowd, so to Keep Fear Alive, why aren't you, in Muslim, why aren't you a Muslim robot? Robot Pirate Ninja is not a Muslim robot. Robot Pirate Ninja is a Robot Pirate Ninja. You can have your coats on too. Found some of the Chilean miners. They... Now, why have you come to the rally today? To restore sanity. Are you saying that because you're, you are insane, you've come to get sanity back? The country is going slightly insane. Party Green! Party Green! Give us our $5! Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Uh, are you here for the fear or the insanity? I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure I'll get an answer that I am expecting here. Whatever one is more popular. So, are you here for the for the fear? Next question, please. Well, I came to the rally to restore sanity because uh, I think things have been a little bit crazy, uh, politically speaking, for the last uh, for the last. Uh, decade or so i'm a thomas bear <laughs> and it's it's a grizzly bear um it's really warm on this cold day uh, we're actually obama bananas we're party green party green, party party green. green. Well, describe the hats what's going on with the hats they're foxes foxes Fo Fo Fox. From Fox. Fo fox hats what's one is it? fox fox oh, those are fox are you guys on the fear side or the uh, sanity side fear Lots and lots of fear. Why? <laughs> because I'm a whore all over the street. Lots of things to be scared of. You know what I mean? Scared. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we have tails too. Oh, I think she's either. Have you seen Waldo? <laughs> no, I have not seen Waldo actually. Yeah, we wonder where Waldo is. And why Waldo? Why Waldo? Um, he said that he was afraid of getting lost in large crowds, and then I'm afraid of my doppelganger. Okay, now my question is, do any of you know where Waldo is? No, we haven't been able to find him. Yeah, we're, we're right here. <laughs> oh, there you are! We've been here the whole time. Uh, Bill Murray, Hi, star of, of many uh, fabulous films, uh, at the rally for Sanity and Fear. Are you here for the fear or the sanity, sir? I'm here for the fear. I think sanity is good and all, but fear is what gets things done. I think, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So are you more of a Colbert or a Stewart fan? Who? Um, and what about tomorrow? It's Halloween. Will fear come back? Oh, and we got another Waldo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Right. And do you guys know where Waldo is? He's dislodged in space and time. So that, can I assume that you're dressing you as Jesus? You may. Okay, um, you may. so why, why did you decide to dress like Jesus? Jesus! Uh, well, one, because it's easy. Two, because everybody responds to it. And three, uh, Stephen Colbert said to dress as your greatest fear, and I couldn't think of anything to symbolize organized religion as well as Jesus, so. Uh, I'm a scientist. I'm a scientist. Uh, why did you think the scientist was appropriate for, uh, for this event? Well, we had an extra lab coat in the house. Oh, what will your Halloween costumes tomorrow be? Um, I'll probably just be where's Waldo again. Yeah, definitely gonna reuse it. <laughs> I'm staying in this. Waldo. I'm gonna be a banana. Yeah, we're in Wonderland with a couple of um, characters from Wonderland. Um, with the Mad Hatter. Uh, Mr. Hatter, uh, what would you say is the single most important reason that you came down here today? Well, you know, I, I love madness, and craziness, but unfortunately I think politics in America today have become even too crazy for me. So it's you've heard from some of the folks attending, such as these people right here, they, a lot of different reasons why people came, and they're all here to support the government and different causes. Talk to your mom. Up with his head. Yeah, he, he told us to, to wear our costumes, and plus it's Halloween. Why wouldn't you? Halloween. You know. So if the rally works, uh, you're gonna lose the hat and become very sane. Um, yes, absolutely.